A new and deadly strain of the COVID virus has been created in a Boston University lab. So here's what we know. Researchers added a highly mutated Omicron spike protein to the original virus. In the lab, eight out of 10 mice died. And while that means the new strain is highly dangerous, it was also created in a biosafety level four lab with extremely strict protocols. So joining us now to talk more about this, Dr. Monica Gandhi, Professor of Medicine and Associate Division Chief of Infectious Diseases at UCSF. Uh, Dr. Gandhi, thanks for being with us. Why would researchers intentionally do this? You know, um, there's something about Omicron that it was less virulent, but more transmissible. We all knew this by this point, and we have multiple studies that show it's less virulent. The most virulent strains of COVID-19 were the original Wuhan HU was called Alpha and Delta. So they wanted to see if it was the spike protein mutations that made it less virulent by sticking the spike protein of COVID-19 Omicron onto the ancestral strain. And then they found that whatever the ancestral strain had over here beyond the spike protein, that was what was leading to virulence because this is a very deadly strain and it's very transmissible both. It has all the worst things going for it uh, in terms of causing disease. So I have to say I'm a little bit worried um, that this is created and I think point proven, let's destroy this now. Okay, so, so we hear a doctor, we hear you saying that you are a little bit concerned about this. I think the average American hears this, you know, antenna immediately goes up. How concerned should Americans be about a possible lab leak? You know, I I think, I mean, from this, I think they were very careful, but the WHO has been very clear that we needed to have been more careful during this pandemic. They actually said, we have to investigate, we have to ensure that all biosafety procedures when people were working with coronaviruses, scientists were working with coronaviruses in labs were followed. And that is the right approach. We can't not, we can't keep on kind of fooling with um, viruses and make them more deadly. It has to be done very, very carefully. And in this case, we prove something, then destroy this and move on. You know, put out the results, move on. We, we don't wanna keep on moving around with viruses. All right, well, let's shift to another disease that, that was making headlines, then it kind of seemingly vanished. We're talking monkeypox. You know, has that been contained at this point? What happened? Basically, it got contained. We did a really good job. <laughs> so in this country, there were a lot of, you know, complaints from me, frankly, and others that were saying, we're not doing, we're not moving fast enough with monkeypox, but things have been going great ever since basically what you show here. August 5th was the peak, 443 cases over a seven-day moving average. We're now at 60. It's three reasons that monkeypox cases have gone down so quickly. One is People sort of changed their um, kind of sexual behavior likely. That's, they did report that, fewer sexual partners. Second, natural immunity probably developed in the population most affected, which is gay men. And third, we've been doing a very good job at getting out the vaccine. This is a smallpox vaccine, getting it out, getting to it to a lot of people. We have much more supply. And all of that is containing this virus, which is great. And it is great. It, obviously a job well done. All right, Dr. Gandhi, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.